Michigan is a national leader in broadband and the Michigan Public Service Commission is working to keep communities throughout the state connected. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is the Media and Public Information Specialist for the Michigan Public Service Commission, Judy Palnow. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hello. So we have a little bit of a distinction here in our state. Um, seven communities have recently been certified as sort of being broadband leaders or being connected, and four of those right here in our state in the state of Michigan. That's right. Um, Connect Michigan works with the Public Service Commission and has been aggressively working with communities around the state to uh, expand broadband opportunities so that communities have better broadband access, adoption, and use. And the four communities that have recently been officially certified are where? Antrim County, Charlevoix County, St. Clair County, and Roscommon County are all certified in broadband. And what exactly does that mean? It doesn't necessarily mean that everyone's connected, but that they're working hard to achieve that goal, right. correct? A lot of communities see the potential that broadband can give to a community to make it more attractive. And so they form teams, and the teams consist of K through 12 education, higher ed, healthcare, tourism, agriculture, broadband providers, government, all join together, form a committee, and, and look at, review the technology landscape, assess where they are, measure themselves against national benchmarks and then put together a technology action plan that identifies priority projects. I would imagine going through a process like this and certainly being aware of how important being connected is uh, makes the entire community more attractive to possible businesses, to folks wanting to individuals uh, move and live and, mm -hmm. and, and just uh, makes it a more attractive community yep. in general. So if other communities want to get certified, what does that process look like? How does that happen? Well, they need to contact Connect Michigan and they can get the ball rolling. Now we have a number of communities that have that underway all the way from the Upper Peninsula, Northern Michigan, Southwest Michigan, Southeast Michigan. They all have these uh, teams underway to get certified. What are the biggest benefits, especially I would think in some of the more remote rural areas mm -hmm. uh, where folks may be working from home or school kids may live and yeah. not have right now access? What, what are the biggest mm -hmm. benefits to becoming connected? You get a better business environment, um, more attractive economic development opportunities, improved health care, um, enhanced education opportunities. All of that comes from broadband expansion. And uh, the, the communities I would imagine who are realizing this going through the certification process are just, they're the more cutting edge communities that are probably leading the way. Uh, yes, and a lot of them are in rural parts of the state because they see where how much potential it holds. And I would imagine some communities, uh, I understand, y y you always should check when you're thinking of opening a business or moving into a community where you're, th and everybody needs broadband now, don't they? Um, the make sure that you are in a community or an area where it is easily accessible because you may be surprised there are pockets that it, it may not be. Yep, and Connect Michigan has a handy map on their website that will identify how many providers are in your area and uh, people are sometimes surprised to see that they have options. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. For more information on today's topic, you can visit connectmi.org. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Judy Palnow, the Media and Public Information Specialist for the Michigan Public Service Commission.